Hi, I'm Manny. I'm here with DryCore. I'm going to talk about the installation of DryCore subfloor. As you know, poured concrete is cold, hard, damp, and generally uninviting. Concrete is porous and will release moisture. DryCore subfloor is the all-in-one engineered subfloor system with a raised integrated moisture barrier designed to protect insulate and cushion finished floors installed over concrete. And besides, it's a cheap insurance for your finished flooring investment. Dry core subfloor is made by combining OSB with high density plastic. Can be used in basement slabs, on grade, or any concrete surface. Has an R value of 1.7, which raises the temperature of finished flooring by up to 3.2 degrees Celsius or six degrees Fahrenheit. Quick to install and easy to transport. Convenient size, nominal two by two, and it's seven eighths of an inch high. Panels weigh, look at this, seven pounds, which is hardly anything. Install any finished flooring material over dry core subfloor, including carpet, laminate, vinyl, wood, ceramic tile. Strong enough to stand up to heavy home furnishing like home gym equipment, pianos, pool tables, etc. Enough talk. Let's put some flooring down. Tools required. You're gonna need a pencil, tape measure, hammer, tapping block, circular saw, jigsaw, full bar, carpenter square, and a six foot level. To calculate how many panels you need, we're gonna first calculate the square footage of the area. Length and width, and we're gonna divide that by 3.3. That also factors in cuts and waste. Establish a clean work area by picking up any debris and by thoroughly sweeping the concrete floor. You gotta inspect the concrete for any gaps, cracks, holes, or unevenness. Dry core leveling shims have been designed for use with the dry core system for areas where the concrete floor is uneven. High or low spots in the concrete that cannot be overcome by leveling shims may be resolved by using a concrete leveling compound. You gotta plan your layout, you gotta measure the width of the room, and you gotta factor in any obstacles like poles or cabinets. When planning the layout, remember, the surface area of dry core is 23 and a quarter inches by 23 and a quarter inches. To get started, you install a quarter inch spacer on the starting two walls. If possible, use a full panel to begin with the tongue going towards the wall. It may be necessary to cut the first panel to ensure that you will be left with a minimum of a three inch piece along the perimeter walls in the room. So after the first panel, we're gonna take the second panel, press fitting the tongue of the second panel into the groove of the first panel. And then I'm gonna tap it with our tapping block. Look at that. No gluing, no nailing, no taping of the seams. Since I was lucky enough to start with the first roll on a full panel, my second roll is gonna be half a panel. We wanna stagger the seams for stability. Repeat until each row is complete. Check each completed row for even leveling and use leveling squares as required. Keep in mind that dry core is a floating floor and will always have some upward and downward movement. Leveling shims can be stacked up to four high. Recommendation is to under shim versus over shim. Cut the last panel of each row to fit into place, allowing for a quarter inch gap. Use a pole bar to pull the last panel into place. When you reach the last row and the last panel, it may become necessary to cut the panel or panels to fit. Tricore subfloor.